Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's go to today's video session. Here we go. How are you guys doing today? That's where all the territories dust up from Japan fighting games. Today's video says it's coming so so interesting. guys doing today? I just have my rock and roll music as always. Today is on the panels on the 3D game list. Japan games. Yes, this is the home country where it's the most exciting for fighting games. Even today's modern world, every single big fighting game is made in Japan. Oh, you can. <laughs> yeah, Ru style. So, yeah, today we are gonna cover which games, right, on the Panasonic Studio were raised in Japan. <laughs> this is the home territory of Panasonic as well, where the Panasonic 3DO was manufactured, made in Japan. If you guys didn't know that, Panasonic manufactured the system. Panasonic is a Japanese company, and Panasonic 3DO was made in Japan. Check it out, my dudes. Okay, anyway, let's get started in this session. So, what I'm going to be doing, any game that was covered in PAL US games, same ones, I won't talk about it much, but if it's a exclusive Japanese game, it will be talked about, if I know anything about it. Alright, so here we go. Dungeons and Dragons, Death Keep and Slayer. You could still get this strategy game from there. Alright. I think this one's called AI Shogi. What kind of game is that? This is a Japanese exclusive game. This is a, a board game. But to play these kind of games, you gotta be able to read the text on the blocks and all that. So this will be a pretty exciting game. If you do understand what this is, this is a board game. I will be very interested to know what kind of game this really is. Because I'm really into board games. And this game might be pretty interesting. So there you have it. Akagi Toyo Dead. Japanese a game exclusive again. This is a Another board game. Ooh, Japanese people love their board games, don't they? So this is another board game. I would love to know what this is as well, but I don't have no clue about these games. Japanese board games. Well, I don't play Japanese board games, do I? So we don't know. We don't get them in our country. These are only exclusive to their home country. So yeah, Akaji tore it in. I plan to to your game exclusive. Check it out. Armageddon. What kind of game is Armageddon? Well, it's an action game. I think this was a mixture of like a character moving and a first person views kind of action game. With a lot of different weaponry. You're not gonna believe this. 
this is a Japanese game exclusive. Hmm. You want to get it from any other region. So if you're looking for a very exclusive game, check Armageddon out. I would definitely purchase this game because it's supposed to be a very good game. I haven't played this game myself, but I did see some screenshots. It looked a pretty interesting game. So check it out. Autobahn Tokyo! That's what they say when you play the game. I have played this game. So this game is a racing game. This game, right, it's kind of like sports cars in this game. It's only sport on the handling. Overall, this is a really good racing game. I really think so. When you play, you tend to quite enjoy it. Even the handling's not good on it. What about Tokyo? It's all about Tokyo, right? And the Tokyo was written in a different way. Like T-O-K-I-O. -O. I'm not clue. Clue why it's written like that. This is a very high speed racing action with sports cars. I will definitely purchase this game because Autobahn Tokyo is a Japanese game exclusive for Panasonic Studio. Do get this game, purchase it, even the handling is not good, it's still a, a great game. Right. Balls, the director's cut. We've talked about this game many times before. It's a, a fighting game. Just check it out, okay? Battle Chess, another chess game that you should enjoy. It's also available in the other regions that I've talked about. Battle Pinball is another Japanese game exclusive, you know. I don't know what to say about this game. When I looked at it, it didn't appeal to me much. Because, you know, the graphics. They're not very good, to be honest. And the game doesn't look very exciting for a pinball game. Maybe Japanese people do like this kind of game. Maybe for people like us, I doubt it. We will like this kind of game. You could check this game out and try it out if it's your kind of cup of tea. It really didn't appeal to me, yeah. Battle pinball. All right, Battle Sport, which we talked about previously, is a good game where you score goals and all that. Right, this one is Bono Garashi, if I'm pronouncing it right. It's an adventure simulation strategy. Well, I have never ever played this game. It's a Japanese game exclusive, you see. I would love to see this game because it's adventure, simulation, strategy, all in one. This game looks really good. So you're getting three types of genres in one game. I think this game needs to be checked out. I wonder how he plays. Pretty good. Maybe good. BC Racers, another racing game. Burning Soldier. It's very well in the other regions as well, but Burning Soldier is a Panasonic Matsu shooter game. It is exclusive to the system. I will definitely take a look at this game and purchase this game right now. Um, right. Cannon Fodder, another one of them games. Where you move your mouse because and it's an action game. Uh, Captain Quasar is another good action game which already we talked about. Check this game out, it's possibly really good and it's worth the purchase. Siberia is one of them one of them another games that we talked about before. D we don't have a first-person view game. 
yeah which doesn't appeal to me much next one is a movie tie demolition man first person shooter fighting racing it's all here okay uh, do a first person shooter a really good action game all right check that out Right, Doraemon, Yujo, uh, Den Senso. It's an adventure game. I think this game is similar to games like Pokemon. It might be some kind of creatures that like change, change to bigger things. This game can be pretty interesting. Because Japanese games, adventure games are really, really good. I've never played this game before. You have to check this game out yourself. It might be a very good game. So, yeah. Dragon Lore is a first person view. Yeah. Okay. F1 GP. By the way, Durumon Yujo Tenmusetsu. Is a Japanese game exclusive. Okay, let's move on to the next one. F1 GP. F1 GP is a Japanese game exclusive again. This is a Formula One racing game. You got three views you can play in. You can play in a copy view, a closer view, and a far view. This game has good Formula One graphics good gameplay and a lot of cars in this game this game is really enjoyable you can race with loads of other cars if you like formula one game this game is definitely worth a look and do purchase this game this is a Panasonic video exclusive game okay flashback we all know what flashback is it's a good action game Jex is another Platform game, Gridders is a puzzler game, Guardian War. Yeah, it's been in other regions. This is a RPG game. This also is in Japanese as well. Right. Now, this next game, Iron Angel of the Apocalypse and Iron Angel of the Apocalypse The Return. They're both in Japanese, okay? These are game exclusive for Japanese. This game is really, really good. Whether in the first game, you get this guy who's Japanese. He's waiting him to come to his tower. And in the second one, right, this robot is like dead. And, the big, and this machine comes up. This guy's controlling it. And then he brings it back into life. And the robot's back in action. These both of these games are first person shooters. They're really good games. With the gun, you shoot loads of special effects when you shoot in this game. A very, very interesting game. It's more like a bit of like an adventure and a first person view shooting action. Do buy both of these games. You need to buy the first one to understand the story. Then go for the return version. Do purchase this game. Get it now. Ashida. Ashida is a board game, a Japanese game exclusive. I've never played this game. I don't know what Ashida is. So you guys need to check this game out yourself and see what you make out of it. John Madden Football is a American football game. Jurassic Park. We already talked about his first person view and racing game, yeah. Kakinoki Shogi Board game. Another board game. I've never played this game myself, so you need to check this game out yourself. Uh, Kaiba Saishu No. 
Hosuku. Hosuku. This is a sports game. Wow! I wonder what kind of sports game this game is. Because usually Japanese sports games are really, really good. And yeah, you need to check this game out yourself. What kind of game it is, because I've never actually played it. Killing Time, a first person shooter, Mega Race, racing game, Montana Jones. Well, it's got an English name. It's weird though. This game is only a Japanese game exclusive. It's a adventure game. I've never actually heard of this game, but it might be a pretty good game. Can be a 3D adventure game. I have no clue on this one, so you have to check it yourself. Missed a puzzler. Nobunaga no Yabo Yabo Hayden strategy game. So this must be where you got this kind of 3D graphics, right? And then you got all sorts of things on this 3D stages and you're planning stuff on there what to do next how to plan the tax because Nobunaga is a warlord isn't it? so you're going to be planning tax and you're going to be shooting things going forward fighting with swords riding horses it's all here check this game game out but chart this game now. Out of this world is a great action game. Okay. Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon S. Okay. This is a Japanese game exclusive. I wonder why he got the word pretty at the front. Is he saying pretty to the girls in this game? Are they calling pretty to the girls in this game? Because they are kind of like pretty girls in this game. Yeah. And then, wow, mm -hmm, they're a bit too much really because like they're wearing some nice beautiful clothes. And they're wearing really mini skirts in this game. I wonder what's all this mini skirt all about. Why are they wearing mini skirts in this game? It's very surprising. Japanese like their girls, they have mini skirts. And this game is actually like that. So this is a fighting game. You get to play with all the girls from the Sailor Moon series, which is really really good. It's got a nice beautiful cutscene where this girl is dancing with a man. She's doing all sorts of things like that. A really nice this is a really nice fighting game. I would say the graphics are quite colorful. Maybe the graphics aren't standard of Panasonic 3D or hardware, but they do look pretty good. This game is really, really good. If you're a big fan of Sailor Moon and you like the Sailor Moon anime series, which was really good anyway, this game has great special moves, punch, kicks, body moves. This game is very good. Epic fighting game. Check this game out. Pretty Sailor Moon S Japanese game exclusive on Plaza Adrio. Get this game now. Pro Stadium. This is a sports game. So he's talking about stadium. There might be all sorts of events in this game. I couldn't clarify that really because I've never played the game. This is a Japanese game exclusive, by the way, so this game can be quite interesting. Okay. Return Fire and Maps of Death, another military action game. So check this game out. The Need for Speed, a racing game. Road Rash Racing Game Royal Pro Wrestling a Japanese game exclusive. What kind of game this is? 
it's a wrestling game. It's a mixture between them kind of games like you used to get on Sega Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, and Mega CD. This game is far better than them, I would say. It's got much better graphics. It's got very good um, fighters in it. Good fighting. This game's really good fun. You have to check this game out if you are into wrestling. This is the only wrestling game you can buy on the system. This wrestling game is really good. Don't get confused because the game is in Japanese text. It's really under under easy to understand this game. Just watch some few YouTube videos. They'll give you some help. I'll, I'll just select which mode. Get this game now. Samurai Showdown. It's on every region. This is a great samurai fighting game. So get this game now. S uh, San Gokoshi 4. Strategy. A Japanese game exclusive. Obviously, it's a strategy game. These games are like, you know, like, it's about like, it's got like soldiers. And you're pitting your soldiers and your generals attacking the other teams. This game, if you understand Japanese strategy game, you will love this game. It's a great action game. You're fighting each other by strategy, by the way. You can't just walk freely. You gotta be good with strategy game. So this game is worth buying if you can understand Japanese. Get it now. Shockwave. A great action game that we already talked about. Yeah, so check it out. Slamming Jam 95, Arca style basketball game. Soccer kid, it's a guy where it's a kid in there that he hits people with a football and kills the enemies. Star Control 2, which I mentioned before, is a PC port, a good action game. Star Wars Rebel Assault, another uh, one of them, Star Wars action games. Starblade and Namco Arcade Shooter. This is a really good game that you should check out. It's a really great action game. It's probably one of the best on the system. With great looking graphics. I would definitely buy the Japanese version on this. Get it now. Star of Hell. This is a a good movie style game where you get this control of a movie and you are using commands like left, right, A, B buttons. You have to do them really quickly. This game is absolutely amazing. It's epic, good graphics, good gameplay using the commands. Get this game now. Striker World Cup Special. Japanese game exclusive. This is a sports game. This is a football game that I've played. I would say this game's got decent graphics. It's got some nice graphics in this game. It plays really, really well. Just, just looks like a really good football game. I would go for this. It's a striker series. This is a very good football game. I will definitely buy this now. Okay. Uh, Super Street Fighter 2. Right. Basically, Street, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo did not release in Japan. Okay. So don't get mistaken on that. The one which, which was released in Japan was Super Street Fighter 2X Grand Master Challenge. So this is a fighting game that is a Japanese game exclusive. This game it has better graphics, uh, classic gameplay, clearer sound. Everything in this game is quality. Grand Master Challenge is better than the Turbo version. Trust me on that. Japanese people have a good treat. If you're looking for a great fighting game, get Super Street Fighter 2X Grand Master Challenge. Japanese game exclusive on Panasonic Video. Get it now. Toro Clips. K 
shooter, space shooter. Um, uh, Tots, Totsugeki, Kikun, action game. Japanese game exclusive again. This game is sports player pretty good. I think it's you got these guys in it. They're moving around. They're doing lots of action with guns. This game is really good. It can be tough to get. You have to look for this game really carefully. I will get this game now. If you're really into action game, this is game is worth playing. All right. Ultraman powered. This is a fighting game. A Japanese game exclusive on the Panasonic radio. First the guy rides a spaceship right and then you know these prehistoric creatures he fights against them they either will hit you with their claws or they will hit you with their tail and when that happens his ship gets damaged then he jumps out the spaceship and then you and then you you know what fighting time this guy is called Ultraman I think they made loads of anime stuff on this in Japan. If you guys ever heard of Ultraman, this game is really, really good, man. Don't take this game lightly. Ultraman powered Japanese game exclusive on Panasonic Studio. Get this game now. Virtusa. There's a rock style character name, rock music, a good action game. Way of the Warrior, fighting game, Wolfenstein 3D, first person shooter, World Cup special. Another sports game. This is a football game, a Japanese game exclusive, by the way. This is Japanese, okay? I would definitely play this game. We have to check this game out ourselves. I don't know what it is because I've never played this one. It's World Cup Special. Because there's one called Striker World Cup Special. No. That's made by somebody else. This is made by somebody else. Because in this game, there's no word called Striker on there. This is a different game. World Cup Special. Check this game out. And buy it now to find out. Another one is World Cup Super Stadium, another sports game. Again, it's another football game. World Cup Special and World Cup Super Stadium. They might be, they're made by different developers. The World Cup Super Stadium is made by I think called some kind of TV Tokyo somebody like that. Some like that. This game, this football game might be really good. I don't know what to expect from both of these football games. World Cup Super Stadium is a Japanese game exclusive for Plaza Antonio. Check this game out. You'll have to just buy it, buy the game to find out what it's really like. So there you have it. All of a Japanese game exclusives on Panasonic Video. And I hope these games have been very interesting to you now we know which japanese game exclusives are available on the panasonic video also on my youtube video below the description i will put down japanese game ex exclusive game list all right so you will know what games are there improperly because sometimes when I'm speaking you don't know what games they are and you don't know the wordings properly so in that games description you will know the games names properly word to word so I hope you guys enjoyed my video today give you a likes comment subscribe
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.